This video tutorial from ExoCAD will be showing you how you can quickly achieve a simple offset coping design. To start, run the Dental DB application. Note, there is a user guide indicating how to proceed. Now select the client, dentist, for this project in the drop-down list. The ellipsis button allows you to add new clients. This will be shown in a separate video. Enter the name of the patient or case. Use a comma to separate surname and first name. Select the technician the same way as you select the client. Note, the technician field is not mandatory. Select the numbered tooth you want to design. Select the restoration type, offset coping. And choose the desired material. Finish the restoration definition by clicking the OK button. Then click the Save button to continue. Next step would be to start the scan. This will be covered in a separate video. Therefore, we will proceed using one of our demo samples. Click on the Load button at the top of the Dental DB window. Choose the first demo sample called Single Offset Coping. And then click on the Load button again. Now click on the Design icon to start the CAD application. The software automatically starts a wizard that will guide you through all the work steps. It starts with the margin line detection. You may navigate in 3D space using your mouse. Use the right mouse button, hold and drag, to rotate the view. Use the mouse wheel to zoom in and zoom out. Use both mouse buttons, hold both and drag, to pan the view. Alternatively, you can use the cursor keys to pan the view. Click the mouse wheel or middle mouse button to center the point you choose, and define this point as the new rotation center. Click on the Help button, represented by the question mark symbol, to open the ExoCAD wiki in your browser. You will be directed automatically to the corresponding page. This box provides step-by-step -step guidance through the online documentation. To start, click on the buckle margin line. In most cases, the wizard will prompt you to click on the margin line for each specific die or tooth. You may use the sectional 2D view bubble to find the correct HOC position for clicking the initial point. If the margin line has not been detected correctly, you can help the algorithms by adding one or more additional points on the margin line. If you have erroneously clicked on a point which is not actually on the margin, Switch to Remove Point and click on that point to remove.
you can edit or manually draw the margin line by clicking on the Correct Draw tab. Left click and hold on the individual control points to drag and drop points. Add new points by left clicking on the green line. Remove points by clicking them with both mouse buttons. First hold the left mouse button on a point, and while holding it, click the right mouse button. The rest of the options for margin line definition will be covered in a separate video. Click on the Next button to proceed to the next step. The crown bottom step allows you to design the inside of the crown. This part of the construction and the parameters involved are crucial for a proper fit. It will also be explained in more detail in a separate tutorial. You will not always be prompted for the insertion axis. If you'd like to verify it, do a right mouse click and choose Set Insertion Direction. Rotate the view so that you look onto the preparation from the desired insertion direction. While rotating, undercuts are marked in red. Then click Set Current View as Insertion Axis to define this as the new insertion axis. Once the insertion axis has been applied, the depth of the undercuts will be displayed corresponding to the color scale. Now click OK to go back to the wizard. Click on the Next button to proceed to the next step. The One-Click Lingual Band option is only available for offset copings. This work step is optional and can be skipped by clicking on the Next button. Set the first control point, which is red, onto the mesial side of the crown. and adjust the second control point, which is blue, onto the distal side of the crown. Use the upper slider or enter a value to adjust the collar height. And use the lower slider or enter a value to adjust the collar angle. Note, entered values are saved and will be shown in a drop-down list with the next use of the software. Click on the Next button to proceed to the next step. The free forming allows you to change the shape of the restoration by using an anatomical forming tool or a virtual wax spatula. By default, it starts with the anatomical freeforming. Use one of the four buttons to change the area that you are editing. By default, it starts with cusps. Note, for offset copings or wax-ups, the software will not know the location of the cusp. Choose Tooth Parts to edit the mesial, distal, buccal, or lingual side, wherever you click on. Choose Entire Tooth to move the entire tooth. Note, the orange area marks the minimum thickness that cannot be violated, as it will be recomputed and protected when proceeding to the next step. You can always go back one or more steps by using the Undo, Redo feature.
choose Ridge for fine tuning of ridges or bulges. Now, click on the Free tab to switch to the Virtual Wax Spatula. You can toggle between the Add, Remove, and Smooth, Flatten buttons. By default, it starts with Add, Remove. To add material, click on the coping and hold the left mouse button. The longer you hold it, the more material will be added. Hold Shift to remove material. Use the Strength slider to adjust the intensity. It controls the speed at which material is added or removed. Or use Control and the mouse wheel to adjust the strength. At full strength, material can be added much faster. And now with Shift, material can be removed with the same speed. Use the brush size slider to control the size of the freeform tool. Or use Shift and the mouse wheel to adjust the brush size. A smaller brush adds material more precisely. Instead of using the sliders, remember that you can use both hotkeys to quickly change the brush size and strength. Use Control and the mouse wheel to adjust the strength. Use Shift and the mouse wheel to adjust the brush size. There are three brush types to select from. Up to now, we just used the default brush. Choose the second icon, Point of Knife, to add material very selectively or to create pointy ridges. Adjust the strength and size and add some digital wax material. Choose the third icon, Cylinder, to create cylindrical forms. Adjust strength and size, and add some material. This brush type could be used to create a hemostat handle or retention posts. Choose Smooth, Flatten, Adjust Strength and Size, choose the desired brush type, then click and hold the mouse button on the parts you'd like to smooth. Hold Control for more of a shape-preserving smoothing. Or Shift to flatten or super smoothing. In a separate video about full contour design, we will show you in greater detail about how to take full advantage of the freeforming tools. Click on the Next button to proceed to the last step. The coping will be merged and saved now. Choose I'm done 
and click on the Next button to close and save the scene. Thank you for watching this video.